Hello, welcome to Sergeant Bluff Middle School. We are so glad you are here. Before we get too far, here at SBL Middle School, we strive to follow our values. They fall under the acronym CARE. C means cooperate, A means achieve, R means respect, and E means empower. When you come in, in the mornings, you have a few options. When the weather is nice, you'll go out to the playground. But if the weather's not nice, you'll have to wait inside the double doors and wait to be taken inside by a teacher. When the staff member comes to get you, you may, at that time, go and get breakfast. The earliest you can go to your classrooms is 8.10. The tardy bell for first period rings at 8.15, so don't be late. On Wednesdays, the bell rings at 2.20. Every other day of the week, it rings at 3.20. If you are in a sport that's right after school, report straight to the locker room. If you are a walker, you need to leave the school immediately and not hang out with your friends. Same thing if you are a pickup, you are to leave immediately. After school, if you are a busser, you will head straight to the commons and find a seat. You will stay seated and wait until you're dismissed. When you are dismissed, you will walk down to the band and choir hallway. Another program here at SBL Middle School is After School Program, frequently known as ASP. This program is in the library on Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, and you may be placed here to get your work done. If you're in ASP, you need to go to the library at 3 o'clock. If you're done with your work, you turn it in and go back to your ninth period class. If it is not done, you'll stay until it is done, or until 4.15. If you are in ASP, you are not allowed to be going to after-school practices, although there is an exception for 7th and 8th graders on game days. Let's look at a few different areas around the middle school. Let's start off with a few common places. First, we have the office. If you come in here past 8.15, you need to stop and talk to me. It's also important if you're leaving early. First, we are greeted by Miss D, our, the best secretary ever. You can ask her all sorts of questions. You also have to stop and talk to her if you need to go to the principal's or the nurse's office. Next, we have Mr. McKelvey, our middle school principal. He can help you in any way you need. Down the hall, we have the nurse's office. Make sure to see Veronica if you're not feeling well. Do not contact your parents first before leaving. Nurse Veronica is only here in the mornings, but Dee can help you with the basic necessities. This is Ms. Grody's office. She's our school guidance counselor. She's here to help you in any way you need, unless there's a session in progress. Always be sure to check in with a teacher before coming down to the office. Another common space that you need to know is the commons, otherwise known as the lunchroom, because we eat lunch here. Speaking of lunch, let's talk a little bit about it. When the bell dismisses you, come to lunch, and then if you are eating cold lunch, you can start eating right away. But if you are eating hot lunch, wait to be dismissed. When you are dismissed, you can come up here and type in your lunch number. Your lunch number will be the last five digits in your password, and also your library card number. the nicest lunch staff in the district. Please be respectful and use your manners. Please and thank you go a long way. When you are dismissed, you will follow up here. Make sure to cooperate and leave no trace. After you get your lunch, you are free to talk. Just make sure that your voice level is in between a one or a two. That is a whisper or a table talk. Right off the comments, there's a few different entrances to the library. This is where you come to check out books and headphones. On the rare occasion that you forget your computer, make sure to come here, but ask your teacher first, and you can come here and come book. But just make sure to return it at the end of the day. Ms. George is our trusty librarian. She's really good at helping you find good books for you to read. This is also where you come for computer problems. You can go to Mrs. George and she will help you first with anything that you may need. But she might not be able to help you right away, so you might have to go to Mr. Curtis. Next, let's just check out the gym. Often we have our middle school assemblies in here. This is where we'll have recess if the temperature outside feels like 15 degrees or below. You will also have PE in here with Mr. Steele as one of your exploratories. Next to the gym are the locker rooms where you'll get ready for PE and other activities. Be sure to be respectful of other things, get in and get out in a timely manner. Speaking of exploratories, let's check out where the rest of them are. Exploratories are in the morning and rotate every few weeks, so it has something new throughout the year. On this long hallway is Project Lead the Way, 
TLTW for short, top line is Palmer ID. Another exploratory is art, which is down the hallway that connects six and seven grade lanes. It is top line is Johnson. All students will have Spanish. Spanish is in the sixth grade uh, wing, uh, top by Miss Moody. The last exploratory for all students is computer apps. It is in seventh grade wing, is top by Miss Moody. Sixth grade students will have guidance located in the sixth grade hallway, uh, taught by Mrs. Grody. Family Consumer Science, SDF Short, is taught by Mrs. Cohen, is in the sixth grade week. Of course, we can't forget about the playground. You may come here before school, but mostly you need recess here. Your teachers will give you more information about uh, playground info, but make sure to follow the care values and rules. We'll always have a 15 minute recess after lunch when it feels like temperatures above 15 degrees, we'll go out to the playground. Another area that you guys should be aware about is the band and choir room, which is located right next to the hockey. First, we have the choir room, and it's taught by Mrs. Ratmaker. If you're in choir, you can also do show choir. Next, we have band. Band is taught by Ms. Hansen, and if you're in band, you also have the opportunity to join jazz band. Every grade has its own pod or wing for its content classes. The sister wing is located closest to the office. Next, we have the seventh grade wing. Finally, we have the eighth grade wing. The wings are where you'll have your content classes, but there is a chance you'll have another class and another wing, so you have to have an idea of them all. Your lockers will be in or near your pods, so you'll have easy access to them. Speaking of lockers, you may want to lock on it, but it's not required. Grade level teachers will help you with where your content classes are. In each grade level wing, you have a set of restrooms. Please stay in your wing to go to the restroom. There's also a drinking fountain for you to use. They even have a water bottle filling station, so feel free to bring a water bottle every day. We do ask that you stick with water instead of other drinks, such as pop, coffee, or energy drinks. Also, restroom and drinking fountains located in the commons near the gym. If you need to leave the classroom for any reason, an emergency restroom break to go to the office, to go to your locker for supplies, or to visit another teacher, fill out your assigned planner. In your planner, there is a passport section. Please put your time, date, and the destination you're going to. You will give your planner to the teacher to sign. You do not have to fill it out when you return. Be sure to bring it to all classes and in the hall after it has been filled out and signed. Your teachers may also have you use the planner section. This will keep you organized. Here at the middle school, we have nine periods a day. After each class, there's four minutes of passing time. This is your time to go to get supplies from your locker, go to the restroom, and get a drink. Eighth and ninth period are a little bit different. This is because for students not in sixth grade choir or seventh and eighth grade band, this is a period called enrichment. Each content class has an enrichment. This is where you will find different needs, goals, and activities. During ninth period, those students not in sixth grade band and seventh and eighth choir will report to study hall. During study hall, you can work on assignments, study, and ask teachers questions. If you ever need to access your schedule, you can just go to Infinite Campus on the SBL homepage. This is also where you will find your grades for each of your classes. You will also have access to a school Gmail account. Check this frequently. SBL Middle School is what is called a PBIS school. PBIS stands for Positive Behavioral Interventions and Supports. Basically a complicated way of saying here at the middle school, we focus on the positive. We talked earlier about our care values that follow under the CARE acronym. Cooperate means working together with peers and staff. Achieve means trying your best each and every time. Respect is the golden rule. Respect differences, yourself and others. Empower means doing the right thing when nobody is looking and working to solve your own problems. Two common phrases you might hear in reference to unwanted behaviors is minors and majors. Minors are smaller behaviors that require several redirects or the behavior continues. They are not big behaviors, but the teacher has to stop instruction. 
Miners are documented and talked about at grade level meetings. If you receive a lot of minors, you may be put on a plan to lessen the behaviors. Majors are the big behaviors. They often end in an office visit. Frequent majors are also part of being a plan on assistance. At SBL Middle School, we also have something called care cards. When a staff member sees you doing the right thing, although not every time, they may give you a care card. You will turn your care cards in to a specific staff member that you are assigned, where you are able to spend these care cards on a variety of prizes and coupons. But do not forget to write your name on the back of the care card because they will be placed into the fish tank that is in the commons for random drawings throughout the school year. We also do something called Student of the Month. Each month, your teachers from your specific grade level will be picking some students that they feel have gone above and beyond that month. This may be students that do the right thing all the time, and it may also be students that have improved a lot in that month. Another fun aspect of PBIS at the middle school is the quarter celebrations that we do. These are to reward students for following those care values throughout the nine weeks. You are allowed to attend the quarter celebrations as long as you don't have two majors or any suspension during that quarter. To wrap things up, we would just like to say that we are so happy you're here at SBL Middle School and cannot wait for you to feel at home here. We went over a lot of information and it may feel overwhelming, don't forget, you have a lot of excellent staff members who are willing to help you with any questions you may have. Go Warriors!